Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amudul Shaktivel, and in this video, I'm gonna cover uh, how we can install APM, right? So there is a recent upgrade from the APM side to move from 1.x version to 2.0. Again, this is this has been a major change in in terms of uh, APM server side. Uh, so again, I have already made a playlist on how we can migrate an existing projects from APM latest. Uh, to the APM latest Java client, but the server side is something that I didn't cover. Again, if you are someone who already have worked with APM, uh, I think you can find it. You have to unlearn certain things and then you know learn this new things. Again, if you are someone who is really new to this, I'll try to provide high level uh, overview on how the APM architecture looks looks like and what are the different components involved the, in involved in this architecture. And I'll also prepare a checklist on how we can install these one by one um, again there are a lot of tutorials and blogs available in in online but most of them are outdated so so hopefully this uh, this playlist is going to cover a lot of stuff and after this i will cover selenide apm right so without wasting a lot of time so so this is basically the apm 2.0 installation checklist that i have created this will be really handy um, you know we will do one by one but again, before that, uh, it is very, very important for us to uh, basically understand uh, how the APM architecture looks like. So uh, APM architecture uh, uh, images, right? So uh, there are a lot of images that were available, but the problem is most of them were outdated. I think if you notice here, uh, so here, if you notice this JSON wire protocol, this is outdated now. So we use uh, the APM 2.0 uses uh, WC3 protocol, I think this image here uh, looks a little more uh, correct so okay it taking me to different page okay so so again so this is how it looks like so you need different components here so important one is your apm server it's a node server it will be listening to the request that we send from our scripts and then it commands the android or ios devices based on the uh, commands that we send from our apm client so there are three components here the APM client is a very important stuff. Uh, again, that you can write code in any language that you want. Uh, APM has this, uh, you know, uh, very important capability. Again, this is the APM server, which is a node server that you it has to be in a listening state to listen to the commands from the APM client, and it it interacts with the devices uh, and dictate what it needs to do. Right. So there are a few things in uh, inside this APM server. One is the APM drivers and then the APM plugins. Again, if you are coming from APM 1.0, you might have not even know that there is an APM drivers because in APM 1.0, it was bundled already with the APM server. But in this case, in 2.0, you have to install your require based on your requirements. Let's say you are automating Android app, then you can install UA Automator 2 or the Espresso uh, drivers based on your requirement so it will not have anything by default you have to install the drivers on your own again apm plugin is, is something that uh jonathan lips is very proud about because it gives opportunity for anyone to create their own uh, customized plugins uh, uh, to to basically make modification in the way how apm server interacts with the commands right we will see about that in detail in the coming videos but for now uh you know let's not worry too much about it so so apm client is very important stuff we write code here uh we dictate uh to apm server uh apm server listens to the commands from the apm client and sends the command to the devices and then you know once it executes the command let's say i i tell hey set the values to a username uh set username with the abcd123 and this command will go to apm server and that will you know actually dictate the device to do that once it is done the device will respond back again okay? in order to do this the apm driver is useful right um, again there are multiple drivers if you want to automate android ios mac so there are everything that is possible with the apm now right the apm plugins are optional and uh, you can install based on your requirements right good so now since we have covered this we have to install them one by one right so so this playlist here uh, can help us so first this apm server uh, is available 
as two forms. One is the APM desktop app, which is deprecated now. So if you are someone who coming from 1.0, you might be using APM desktop for all your needs before, but this is deprecated uh, recently in the April month of 2023. So, so it will not be available anymore. So we are not going to install this. So we have to install APM uh, in the CLI. So you, in the terminal, you just run one command, the APM will be installed. So that's how simple it is, right? And for the APM driver, right? So there are different drivers available as I mentioned before, but here, if you want to automate iOS apps, then you need this. If you are going to automate Android, then you need this. Again, uh, this is also for Android, uh, for more native, uh, if you want to automate a lot of native events inside Android, you can use Espresso, right? Um, and you have access to code base and all that. So again, Mac, if you want to automate Mac apps, there are other drivers as well. You can check the APM uh, website for more uh, details about these drivers. Um, again, how to install these? So first thing is, um, there is something called as Node.js, right? So if you are someone who is from uh, JavaScript or TypeScript background, you might know what is NPM. But if you are from Java background, uh, it's almost similar to how we deal with the Maven and stuff like that, right? So, um, so you have to have your Node.js installed again. Okay? I didn't mention this, so let's add this here. Um, let's add a checklist and then say uh, Node.js. Node.js is really important. So you can Google about Node.js uh, download, and then you can download it from here based on your operating system and get that installed. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you are using Mac, it's gonna be very simple. Brew install uh, Node, uh, Node, I think. I think it should be done. So so I think for me, it's, it's not needed, but uh, yeah, let me cancel it. So I already have it installed. Uh, so for me, it's not needed. Okay, now uh, after that, right? So this is done, uh, you know, and then we are going to install the APM CLI and the APM driver. But in order to ease the process, there is something called as APM installer. So you can first install the APM installer and then you can do it. So for example, you can type APM installer, APM package, and then it basically takes you here. Um, so this is, this is going to APM, but all we need is APM installer. So what you can do is simply run npm install uh, apm hyphen installer hyphen g, which means you want to in, you know install it globally, uh, and that's what I want to do. Uh, maximize this a bit, and then once you run it, uh, I have this already installed in my machine. Uh, but yeah. So this can help you to install other stuff very quickly. Even without this, you can install, but you know you might have to follow a lot of steps, but this will be very easy. So you, I will tell you how it will make your life easy. So yeah, so if you notice, this is now installed. So what you can do is just type APM hyphen installer. That's it. Now, what it does is, hey, APM user, now, it, it gives you a lot of options. So need help in setting up Android environment. What do you want to actually do with this, right? So, okay, let's click on enter. So I want to set up an Android environment to run my test. And it says real devices are Android or both. Uh, for me, you know, I choose Android. Uh, where you want to do this, uh, select browsers. I don't want to automate browsers as of now. So it's saying, uh, you know, some requirements are missing, ABD manager, uh, night watch and then you can actually download it but in my case it's already present so i don't want to do this okay i will directly go to a install apm server right so install apm server that's it and now it should try to install the apm server for you so yeah now it's it mentioned apm uh, server is successfully installed and this is the version right and then what else I want? I want to install some drivers. Okay, let's go there. And if you notice, there are a lot of drivers available. Among them, you need UA Automator if you want to automate uh, Android. And I uh, go down and then I press space, it will select Exhibitors. For now, I, I, I'm okay with these two. Again, there are other stuffs available. If you want to select them, you can do that. And, and then press on Enter. Once you do that, it will basically uh, tell, hey, for me, it's already installed. In your case, it'll be installed uh, for you. So if you want any any APM plugins, you can also do that. So let's go here. If you want to use APM device form, wait plugins, 
Paid plugin is really cool, right? You don't have to write any site of any kind of waiting from your side. Uh, so the server, APM server will take care of it automatically. These are all pretty cool. Um, again, gestures plugin, if you want to do swiping and all that, there is an easy way how we can do it. Uh, if you want to get report from your APM, APM reporter plugin can be really useful. Again, you can choose based on your needs. For now, maybe I, I choose something like um, APM wait plugin or APM dashboard, something like that, right? Uh, and then I select it and then press on enter. From where you want to download it as an NPM module, right? So uh, it basically installs everything for me, right? Again, there is something called as APM doc doctor, which means it will tell you, uh, you know, using the APM doctor, you can check whether everything is installed successfully. So uh, in my case, I already installed it. In your case, you can select this. If you want to launch emulators and simulators from here, you can also do that. But in my case, I am done with this. I'll click on exit. That's it. So now with this, I have installed a lot of stuff. One, I have installed the APM CLI. Okay. If I go and try just APM at next. And then if you notice, okay, APM hyphen V. So if you notice, this is here. I can simply run APM, it seems. So once you do this, it basically kickstarted the uh, APM server with these two drivers, right? So everything looks good. And then it says uh, requiring driver at Exivators could not create this. The requested port may be already in use. Maybe I have another server that is up and running, so I can close that, right? So, uh, so yeah, it, it basically installed the APM CL, uh, CLI for us. So let me open the terminal again. Um, again, we also have installed this. We have also installed that based on our needs, and this is done. This is also done because it helped us to install these two stuff. All good. Next, I have also installed the dashboard plugin, which is not here. So dashboard. So it's up to you. Whatever you want to install, you can install that, right? And this is also done. Now, APM Inspector is used for inspecting your app. Let's say in the mobile in web automation, we will inspect our web elements using the network, uh, sorry, the, the Chrome dev tools, right? So uh, similarly for APM, you need the APM inspector app. And for that, it is available as a external um, APM inspector download, right? And then it will take you to the releases and based on your operating system, you can choose whatever you want. So for Mac, you can find the, all these stuff. For Windows, you can find all these stuff and then you can install them. These are all pretty simple downloads. Uh, shouldn't be any issues, right? So Good. Now, once you install this APM inspector, um, right? So again, this is optional. In uh, I know there is something called as uh, inspector.apmpro.com. So this is something that is built by Jonathan, who is the APM lead, and uh, he provided a uh, web version of APM inspector. So you don't have to install this. If you want, you can still inspect from here. That's optional. Like if you want to go here if your machine is lightweight if it cannot lot of handle a lot of uh, resources then i would suggest to use this particular stuff okay, it's optional to you you can choose whichever you want this doesn't have any installation and all right uh, once this is also done i will mark this right now apm client so apm client is something that we can see in the next time like if you are using java or something how we can add the apm client into our uh, workspace and all that we could see that in the next video uh next we will come back to the uh, re where we want to run the test so there are different com components that were involved in the apm architecture like we saw here so the apm server is done apm clients are done uh, plugins and drivers are also done but we need the devices right to run our tests again in whole tutorials i'll be mostly using emulators and simulators uh because connecting to real devices and all it makes uh, uh you know so much of nice for tutorial purpose, right? And uh, let's go here. And for the Android, uh, so if you want to install real devices, you need Android emulator. And so in, in order to get this, uh, you can, this is actually an Android Studio. So yeah, so you have to install Android Studio. So you can go here, Android Studio, download, and based on your particular operating system, you can download that. Okay, so you can you can download based on uh, your operating system, right? That's pretty simple. Once that is done, you can set the Android Home. I think 
uh, this will automatically be set uh, if you are downloading the Android Studio. So I am also marking this as uh, you know uh, completed. And then for iOS, again, I, iOS simulator you can only do if you have a Mac machine, right? If you have Windows or Linux, you cannot do this. And one more thing is export is available in App Store. So if you go to App Store, um, um, you can download Xcode from here. Okay. So you can search for Xcode. And in your case, in my case, it's showing update. In your case, it will show get. You can get it. Okay. Once that is done, this will also get comes with bundled with that. So once you do with this, you can simply uh, open Xcode. Um, I have that already installed. Uh, so in order to use Xcode, you need to up, update to the latest version. So in my case, it is asking me to update to the latest version. Uh, I will do that. Um, so in the in the meantime, the Xcode is getting installed. Um, I think uh, you know it is it is a very simple process. Once you install the uh, you know uh, the Xcode, you just need to open the simulator and it should open the simulators for you. Uh, once this is done, you can go here and then create new simulator. You can open different simulators based on your needs. So it's all those stuff can be done, right? So, so yeah, so it's a pretty simple process uh, and it should be done, right? So previously the IOA setup was really complicated. Like you need to install Carthage and all that, but for simulators, you don't need any, any complicated stuff. Uh, so it should be done. Again, from the latest APM 2.0 version, you need to send the capabilities as W3C uh, capabilities, compliance capabilities. So this will be automatically taken care if you are using latest APM clients. For example, APM Java client 8.x will take care of it. So, so this you have, let's say if you are using Java, you can just add APM uh, Java client version greater than eight to your maven or greater that's it so as simple as that but for other things you can still uh, check their particular client versions right so this will be automatically taken care of by the latest apm client so we're also marking it as done so so these are all the important steps that we need to do before uh, you know starting our uh, coding so in the next video basically um, we will cover how we can install uh, this APM client and then we can write our first test case in APM 2.0. So I'll see you guys in another great video. I will leave this particular document link and also other important uh, download links in the description. So you can also take a look at them, right? Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.